Hi guys, Oxup here and I hope you're comfortably sitting in your armchair because I'm gonna talk about Snapshot 13W2A uh, that has just been released. Um, so in this one um, there are some new features and I'm gonna talk about all of them, um, all of the ones I've I've worked with. Uh, I think that's pretty obvious. Some of them hasn't been discovered yet, so I don't know them. Um, I will probably do another video if some of the features lack. So, um, the first one is the squat block, uh, which can be built like this with the crafting bench. Um, the second one is the pillar, uh, which is very beautiful, I think. Yeah, I like it. So, uh, you can make it with this way. The next one is the stairs. It's just a, a traditional shape of stairs. Um, the next one is the slab. And another time that's very traditional. And the and uh, I think that's the best. I like it. So I think that's beautiful. So uh, this one is the chiseled quartz block, and you can build it uh, as the same way as the chiseled sandstone block. So you just have to put two um, slabs, two quartz slabs, uh, one above each other. Now let's talk about um, the chest, the trap chest. Uh, the first thing we need to notice is that it's not in the redstone category anymore in the inventory, in the creative inventory. It has been uh, put in the decoration inventory. It's here. So I don't understand this, but... Uh, yeah. I don't know exactly what's this thing. Uh, as you can notice, I'm trying to put items back in the inventory and there are still bugs with it. So, uh, let's see we'll, uh, let's see the new feature of this, uh, this block, this chest. Um, you just can see that you can send power with another way now. Uh, at the beginning you had to put redstone here or here or here. Uh, uh, here if you destroy this block, of course. Now if you put a comparator here or behind this block, it will work. So let's see, you will see this lamp will light up. BAM! That's down. Uh, yeah. That's good. I really like it because, yeah, the oldest, the older one was, uh, I don't know, that was crazy. You, you saw all the redstone and stuff. Nobody could be trapped with that. And so the next thing uh, we can notice with this snapshot is that the texture of the hopper has changed and uh, the, uh, the item uh, the simple item has changed too. Uh, I like it, but uh, oh, I think they could have put the same texture at block. It could have been better, I think. And as you can see, frames cannot see them. There is a problem with the hoppers. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I think it will be s fixed in this next uh, snapshot. Um, so here is the recipe that has changed too. Uh, I like this one because the other one was too easy to make. Um, it was too easy to to do some really great stuff in survival mode. Now you have to mine a bit more and everything else. So let's speak about what's new about the hoppers. As you can see, I've powered all of this one. And so, all the chests are empty. 
but there is a redstone dust in each of them. So what's this thing? That's very simple. Since they are powered, they are blocked. That's the new feature about hoppers and that's absolutely great because before you had problems with for example alembics if you want to, to get potions or something else uh, there were problems and um, now as you can see it can get all the items but it will not send it to the things that are below and as you can notice another thing there was a bug. You see I have 13 blocks. If I send all of them in this way... Oh... I think there are still bugs. Oh yeah, there are bugs. What's this? I thought there were not bugs anymore. So, but yes, there are no duplication bug anymore. But there are still bugs with the hitbox of this. I think it will be fixed in the next snapshot. But yeah, actually, I thought it was fixed because yeah, that's quite a big problem. Um, so let's speak about Minecraft now. Uh, there is a new rail which is the activator rail. You can power it and here is the recipe. Uh, yes, I think there is a problem with that. Uh, I think it will change in the next snapshot for the simple reason that um, this thing uh, is absolutely different from the texture you see here. So I think they didn't know what to do and what to... yes, what to do with the recipe of this item. Um, so they just forgot it, I think. And the, the end. <laughs> the best for the end. This TNT in a minecart, that's new and that's good. So that works with this rail. I will show you, I will do a quick demonstration just after this. So here is the recipe and Bam! You've got that. And so you can travel, you can make minecart traveling, tra no travel, oh, ooh, with a TNT in it and it can explode actually. So I'm gonna just take, uh, oh, oh, I didn't know that. If you break a minecart with a TNT in, you will not get the TNT back. Okay. I didn't know that. So, a quick demonstration. Here you see there is a detector rail, which is powered. I will, uh, will show you the difference when it's powered and not powered. That's absolutely not what you can think. <laughs> so. Here it is powered, and you'll see the TNT will explode after a few seconds. And if it's not powered, I think it's a bug, because that's not logical at all. You'll see it will explode instantaneously. What? Oh! If you look at my French video, you will see that it exploded instantaneously. Oh, I think this snapshot is as bucky as the former one. <laughs> uh, you are good, but uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, so there are no bugs anymore. Sorry. So yes, there there are bugs, but uh, not uh, uh, all the time. Wow. Okay. So yes, 
Yes, I am thinking there is a bug here. Uh, the TNT is absolutely not powered anywhere. Ah, uh, or be I want to test something quickly. No, there is nothing with the power drive. I thought it was a bug. No, there is actually a big bug with this one because uh, yeah, the timing is different when you light it or don't light it. But uh, yeah, it makes a lot of broken cubes, and I like that. So yeah, I'm gonna present you this stuff uh, in my next video, um, which will be released, uh, I think, um, this evening or maybe tomorrow. I will see. Um, I think you like it. That's a fully automated potion brewer. You don't need to know the recipes. You just need to have. Uh, resources and put them into one chest or anything else and if you want a potion you just need to put one button and the potion brewer will know what item to look for and it will make it for you so yeah let's come back to what we did today i hope you like this video i am if you liked it uh, just thumbs up please it's really appreciate um, if you have something to say just comment and yeah big lag thanks fraps and yes if you want to see more of this kind of videos you just can subscribe I really appreciate that so yeah, goodbye, everybody.